Prince George's County is still digging out from the storm. Crews are working to clear neighborhoods and restore power to people who still don't have any electricity. Prince George's County Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins is live now with details on how neighbors there are handling the aftermath of this storm. Tracy? Hey, well, I can tell you that the roads are looking much better in Prince George's County today, but it also depends on where you live as to how good your road is. Like residential streets, still fewer than half of the county's residential streets have been plowed yet. And the county has a special message to residents asking them to please be patient. Don't call 311 and report that your street hasn't been plowed until tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, we've been driving all over the county and just watching folks digging out and some people waiting to get their power back. But things are beginning to get back to normal pretty quickly. No need for artificial snowmen. We got the real thing and plenty of it. I think the last time I saw it snow this much, I was probably eight or seven or something. Today, Prince George's County residents are digging out after a storm, though forecasted, was still hard for many to imagine. How long did it take you to clear out the driveway? Uh, probably like an hour. Not too bad. Not too bad. This tractor trailer on Branch Avenue in Clinton is getting towed out today after yesterday's storms. The county government reported more than 100 abandoned vehicles on roadways yesterday. That had a serious impact on getting roads clear. But more than half of the county's primary roads and most of the state's roads, like Branch Avenue, Beltway, and Landover Road, are mostly clear. The county is still working to get to its residential streets, most of them still iced over. The Prince George's County Fire Department responded to a near record of almost 700 emergency calls yesterday. In Hyattsville, a traffic light toppled after it was struck by a vehicle. Heavy ice and snow brought down some lines. Pepco reported some 8,000 customers without power at the height of the storm. That number is now down to 1,200. <laughs> with county schools and virtual learning canceled today, some kids made the most of it with sledding in University Park. I think my, my, my kids, uh, two and six, were outside every second they could be yesterday from dawn until dusk. You can see Route 1 is a good example of what these primary roads are looking like throughout the county, but there still are those issues in some of those uh, in lanes where you're driving and then you end up with some snow in the way there. So be careful and still look out for all of that. And also, again, that special, special message from the county asking residents to please don't call and report that your residential street has not been plowed until tomorrow afternoon around 2 p.m. at some point, giving them 48 hours to try and get to your residential street. And then if you don't see them, let them know because it could have been missed and they'll definitely head your way. Reporting live, I'm Tracy Wilkins. Back to you all in the studio. Patience. All right, Tracy, thank you.